Hey, welcome to Architecture Broadcast. This video is for specifically for a common man who wants to build his own house or planning to hire some architect and want to learn no more about construction process involved to build a brick house, thousand square feet. We are going to see from foundation to electrical. Even I will share you how much contractor makes profit out of it and and even how much architect charges for the design. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First step is foundation, which we can divide into six subcategories. First, we will start with excavation. In excavation, we just mark the empty plot with columns and we use JCB to excavate the soil from the ground. The excavation cost may vary according to the site because if we take a plot outskirts of the city, the some site the surrounding plot will be free. In that case, we can use the JCB in one day and excavate all the column pit. But if you are living in a metro city, it's not possible to do it in that way. Because all the three sides are really will have and houses in most cases. Because of that, we will not have a proper space to keep the sand. In this scenario, what we will do is we just usually excavate two to three columns and start footing and fill it and the next day we start other pit it will cost around 30k for a 30 by 40 feet plot of 1200 square feet which includes the jcb charges and soil filling charges and the next we'll talk about the footing and column we take six to seven feet in that we'll put a footing mat and we'll usually add jelly and do the column if you take a cost of one column it will cost you around 9000 for one footing column so you can easily multiply with the number of columns you have in your plan the next step is great beam suppose if you are taking a 20 by 30 feet plot a 150 grade beam will cost you around 55,000 this include the cost of steel and concrete in this we have not included the labor and shuttering cost and I will tell you about the labor cost at the end and the next is the basement brickwork for example we are doing a three feet brickwork from the existing ground from the basement it will cost you around 30,000 which includes the sand brick and other material in it and the next is soil filling it's nothing but filling a spring the basement with soil which will cost you around 54,000 because we should always use good quality of soil in order to prevent the future damages and the next step is flooring cost in this we add pcc which will cost you around thirty thousand. so till now we have explained you about the six steps involved in a foundation right and next is the frame structure frame structure is nothing but the columns and the beams for example for a 30 by 40 feet you have a 12 columns in the ground floor for 12 columns in the first floor and 150 grade beam in the ground floor and the 150 grade in the first floor which includes column beam and rcc roof which will cost you around 350000 and the next step is the brickwork if you take a number of brick will cost you around for a 30 by 40 plot the brick brick will cost you around 150000 and the next step is the plastering which includes the interior and an exterior plastering will cost you around 75000 in in this the labor cost is not included we have included the cost of cement and soil once the superstructure is ready we have other things like electrical plumbing first we'll talk about the electrical there are many material included in electrical but i will talk about the major material such as wires from one square mm to four square mm will cost you around rupees 600 to 2000 per square and the next is modular switches which will cost you around 25 to 30 rupees per switch and the next is the distribution box which we usually used in the residence project distribution box which will cost you around 1200 rupees per box and the next is the main panel board which will cost cost you around 5500 per box till now we have discussed the major thing but there are many small things like spring etc we have not mentioned in it including all this thing it will cost you around 1 lakh 10,000 rupees for a 30 by 40 feet house and next is the plumbing in plumbing we need a lots of material but we will talk about the major material for example wc which will cost you around 3000 to 3500 per piece and the water mixer which cost you around 3500 per piece and the wash basin which will cost you around 900 to 1000 100 per piece and the shower head which will cost you around 800 to 1000 per piece other than this we have a small thing like tap hose pipe etc for this plot the total plumbing cost is around 42000 which include the material and the labor the next is exterior painting we should use the best quality because it should withstand the sun and the rainy days so for exterior it will cost around 185 to 260 per liter and if you take the interior it will cost you around 135 to 160 liter for this 30 by 40 plot it will cost around 90 1000 which include labor and material costs in this i have not added the cost of primer and other small things and the next is the tile usually commercial contract will use the tile of 40 to 50 rupees per square feet and to fix the tile we need adhesive which will cost you around 50 to 20 per square feet tiles and tiles will include such as floor tile bathroom tile wall tile kitchen tile granite slab staircase curtains tiles etc total cost was around 
one lakh forty thousand. Next is the door and window cost. Door can be of three category: main door, bedroom door, and bathroom door. Main door uh, we usually use teak, which will cost you around twenty five thousand to thirty thousand, which includes key, lock, and carpentry cost. And the bedroom door we usually go with flush door, which will cost you around twelve thousand to fifteen thousand door. And the bathroom we usually use the PVC, which will cost you around three thousand to five thousand. And the next thing is the window. There are many type of windows such as wood and UPVC, and two categories like sliding and opening. Now we are talking about the sliding window, which will cost you around three fifty to three seventy per square feet. On an average size, we use four feet by four feet window, which is around sixteen square feet, which will cost you around five thousand six hundred to six thousand per window. It does not include the metal grill. And the next is staircase construction, which will cost you around thirty five thousand. Which includes handrail, and the next is waterproofing. It's one of the main thing you uh, do it for bathroom floors, joints, and corner. It will cost you around twenty six thousand. And the next is the terrace weathering cost. You can use uh, heat reflective and cooling tile, which will cost you around forty five thousand. And the last, not not the least, the parapet. Parapet wall is nothing but the wall which you use in the terrace, which will cost you around twenty five thousand. And for this project, the labor cost was like three fifty per square feet, includes foundation and roof centering and column. And the contractor profit is fifteen percent of the construction cost. And architect usually charge seven point five percent of the total construct cost. I hope th this video has given a clear idea about how much it will cost you to. Build a thousand to two hundred square foot building. If you want more video related to construction, do let me know in the comment section. And and if you are an architect student and you want some sheets inspiration, we recommend you to go Archipedia. And if you want to download free SketchUp and Revit components and know about architecture, you can visit architecturebroadcast.in. And if you are preparing for Gate Architecture, we recommend go to our website and get the free materials. And That's all for today video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends those who are who want to learn about construction or planning to build their own house. And we'll see you with another video soon.